not out of date. Sometimes, even conventional religions can be difficult for outsiders to understand, but it's our duty to try. First of all, thank you for uh, welcoming me here into your mosque. It's lovely to be here. It's very nice, very peaceful. I'd like to start by asking you, um, as Muslims, do you believe that all non uh, Mus No. Sorry, I, I just don't want to say anything that might um, offend you, because I know I touch you. Well, I know it's a very touchy, difficult subject, you know, to, to discuss. Um, so let's word it this way. A lot of people might say, but not, not me, but a lot of people might accuse you, not accuse you, but think that maybe some of the, some of the things that uh, you believe in are, how can I say, not that I would say it, but this is what other people might think when they look at what some of the things you, not all of you believe in, but some of you do believe in or do, that like, Oh, this is a minefield. Now, uh, Christianity has modernised uh, itself. You know, there have been retellings of the Bible um, and, you know, the television programmes and films about Jesus and, you know, quite good ones, um, some of them. But well, do you think that maybe that Islam could... could uh, would you agree that... Of course you wouldn't agree. Now, a lot of people um, perceive m Muslims, at, or they, th they think that all of you are, not that you are, but a lot of you, not a lot, but a small fraction, even smaller than that, a tiny, hardly any of you at all, in fact, just a, almost like a blimp. Actually, not blimp, that's big, that's like a, but a blip. Yeah. Maybe even less than that. It, the, 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 this kind of tiny blippy thing of, of, of Muslim people, no. Post, um, no. I'll tell you something as well about the, Gary, about the Muslims, yeah? They're not a particularly colourful religion, is it? It's not very vibrant, you know what I mean? Like, uh, the Rastafarians, they're mm. kind of, they've got brightly coloured hats. Mm. Like, uh, like, like, like the ladies that used to go to church, like you said, say, they're brightly coloured hats. I don't know if that's a significant factor of religion, though. And all are, 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 are put on a brightly coloured hat, I don't know. But the Muslims, they wear the dark things mm. on the head, don't they? They're very darkly coloured religion. But uh, uh, the Hindus, they've got their lovely, what they call the saris, don't they? All that beautiful colour silk and all that. And mm. the Muslims are very, oh, they're very dark, aren't they? Mm. And I, wor I worry about them. I say, they don't seem very happy. No. I don't know, perhaps it's a, like a, a residue or a legacy Gary, of my sort of um, Christian upbringing and I, they're supposed to be a bit of joy in God, a clappy clap, clap yeah. clappy is God, ha ha la God, clappy clap, you know, like that, that yeah. way, that way, you know, like what that. Do you think, what do you think is more important in religion, you know, is it what you believe in or is it the fun that's involved? Well, I, I think, I, I, the way I look at it Gary, if I, if I was that needed something to believe in, and I thought perhaps maybe that all the humans do, and I count myself as one of them, and I said, <laughs> all the humans, and like, sounding like I wasn't talking about like another race from another planet, which we might be, I don't know. But I want to say this, right? Mm. If I was looking, I want to say, I want something to believe in, I want to think, uh, oh, here's God, come into my life, and I'm the you know, like that. That way. The law of man and the law of nature entwined together. No buggeration, buggeration. Even after talking to him for some time, I'm not exactly sure what Pablo believes in. Buggeration mean the four ass men of the apocalypse reach out and set forward them steed to reach us. Mm. Hear them coming now. Mm. Clippity clap, clippity clippity clap, 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 clippity clap. Clippity clap. Mm. All of them has come and bring condemnation for the buggeration of mankind. It's like an apocalyptic Grand National. 345 Kempton. Get a bet put on it. Well, do you ever think about what, what might happen to us when we die? Um, not really, no. I've never really thought about it, no. So you don't think there's a 
all-seeing, all-knowing, omnipresent thing, as it were, looking after us, taking care and guiding us on our way. What you mean, some form of uh, super being, as it were, that looked down upon us and guided everything we ever did? Well, someone you, yes, yeah, someone who, or something that we pray to, or someone we go to for guidance. First time I've ever heard such a thought, and it really, it really seems to have affected me. Uh, an all-seeing, all-knowing being, looking upon us, knowing everything we're doing, had begs the question, why are we here? Mm. Why are we here? Well, we don't know why. We, we don't know why we're here. Why are we here? Well, that's what why that's... are we here? You know, that is something I've never thought of until now. And that really has shook me to the bones. Why are we here? Well, well that's... Do you a... do know why we're here? No, no, we don't, no, no one knows. No one knows. Does that's... anyone here know why we're here? No, but that's... No, I... Don't no, worry really, about really, it. Really, 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 I really need a bit of time to think this it's through okay. because... Um, it's OK, don't no, worry. No, 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 you no, don't no. understand. I really am a bit uh, worked up about this now. And why are we here? Why are we here? Well, we... Why are we here? Why are we here? 